When you call 911, the first question the dispatcher asks you is, what's your location? But what happens when you don't know your exact location? Calmon 2 consumer investigator Libba Holland looks into how Charleston County is trying to better their location services and what you can do to help yourself if there is an emergency. Several of the apps that you probably have on your phone know where you are at all times. In fact, I can order an Uber right now and it knows exactly where I am. But the only reason it knows that is because I've allowed the app to do that. 911 doesn't have that ability, but there are ways that operators can find you in an emergency. You dial the number, a 911 telecommunicator answers. 911, what's the address of the emergency? What's the address of your emergency? That's our most critical piece of information to obtain. This is Jim Lake, the head of Charleston County's 911 center. He says if you don't know the address of your emergency, the 911 operator sees on their screen where the tower is that your call hit. Within the next 30 seconds, the system sends another signal to the phone. That map will then refresh and give us a more accurate location as to where that caller is. But there's room for error. Cell sites are often located on the borders of cities, counties, or even states, so your call may not go to the appropriate 911 center. The public's expectation is that 911 knows where I am 100% of the time. The providers, though, are governed by the Federal Communications Commission, and the FCC definition of accurate today is that they have to be within 50 meters 40% of the time. So operators can also launch a program called CLQ. A system will send a text message to your cell phone asking it to use your handset location. That's similar to when you give apps like Uber and Lyft permission to find you. But again, there's room for error. If someone has not enabled their location services, they now have to go into the phone to enable that so that they can send us the signal. So there's a downside to that. So here's some potentially life-saving information for you. There is an app that you can download on your phone that will send your location to 911 if you call from that phone. The app is called Rapid SOS Beacon. If you have enabled the Rapid SOS profile, it'll give us a more accurate location based on your handset. You should also create a smart 911 profile online. It will give the operator more information about you, like where you live, work, and your emergency contacts. Uh, I think that's what's important for the public to know is that 911 doesn't have any information about you until you call us. And of course, if you call 911, chances are you really want us to know everything about you so that we can get you the right help. I've posted all this information on CountOn2.com. Find my story and you can find the link to Smart 911 and information on how to download the Rapid SOS Beacon. Libba Holland, CountOn2.